Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. To my eternal subscribers, thank you so much for your support. I don't take it for granted. To my new subscribers, my name is Sam G. I'm your lifetime personal finance guy. While you're here, please be sure to like the video, leave a comment, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell. So whenever I do post a video, you get a notification. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about if it's safe for you to invest during a recession and how you should invest during a recession. A recession refers to a period of declining GDP and it's often used to describe a decline of two or more consecutive quarters. With that in mind, you may be wondering if it's safe for you to even invest during a recession and if it's better for you to keep a money in a savings account or put it in a, a brokerage account. During a recession, stock values often decline. In theory, this will be bad news for an investment portfolio. However, leaving investments alone during this time period means not locking in recession-related losses by selling. Lower stock values offer a solid opportunity to invest at cheaper price points. You may invest during a recession if you meet the following criteria. The first thing to note is to always have plenty of emergency savings. You should have at least three to six months worth of living expenses saved up in case of a rainy day, something like getting laid off or having trouble with work. If you're already at that point and you have extra money at your disposal, then you can invest it. If not, be sure to build a solid emergency fund first. The second thing is if you're not planning to touch your portfolio for at least seven years. Investing during a recession is not for the faint of heart. You may think that you bought a stock at the bottom only to see it decline further a few days later. The best way to avoid losses during a recession is to take a long-term approach to investing. Plan on leaving your money alone for at least seven years. The third criteria is to make sure you're not going to obsessively check your portfolio. Look, I get it. When the economy is in bad shape and there's lots of stock market movement, you may be tempted to routinely log into your portfolio and then check to see how your portfolio is doing, but I highly recommend against it. You can't do that during a recession, however, because the more you keep checking your portfolio, the more likely you are to panic. And when you panic, you risk making rash decisions that lock in your losses and ultimately lose your money. Now, let's talk a little bit about what to invest in during a recession. Index funds are a great way to invest whether there's a recession or no recession. For more information, check out my Invest in 101 playlist that I have on my YouTube page, and I think you'll find it very informative. Even though I am suggesting index funds, I know that there are people out there that prefer to invest in individual stocks. The best investment strategy in any environment is to find good businesses and hold on to them for as long as they are good businesses. An important part of the strategy is to focus on quality, especially during a recession. Again, plan on investing your money for at least seven years to really just benefit from the long-term growth of your investment portfolio. Do not panic and stop logging on to Fidelity, stop logging on to Robinhood if you use that every single five minutes. Your portfolio is not gonna change significantly in that time. So just play the long game and it's really gonna help you really just build that wealth and build generation wealth. During a recession, how you invest is just as important as what you invest in. Stock prices tend to be very volatile during a recession. Anyone that was involved in the 2008 to 2009 financial crisis can tell you so. Rather than trying to time the market, invest incrementally using a strategy called dollar cost average. This strategy involves putting up equal dollar amounts at certain time intervals as opposed to buying it up all at once. This way, if prices continue to fall, you can take advantage of this and continue to buy more. And if the prices start to rise, you end up buying more shares at lower prices and less shares as they get expensive. In a nutshell, a recession can be a great time to buy stocks of good businesses at cheap prices. Now let's talk about how not to invest during a recession. One of the major things you wanna avoid is speculation, especially during a recession. And people tend to do this with stocks that have been badly beaten, stocks that have a really sharp decline in prices. Please do not do that. Do not speculate, especially during a recession. Also, as I said before, don't try to time the market. Trying to time the market is a losing battle that has happened over and over again throughout the decades. You're better off buying stocks that you feel comfortable holding on to for years. I think that'll be of a much more better long-term benefit than trying to time the market. The next thing you probably shouldn't do during a recession is day trading. I know it's kind of tempting nowadays with zero commission trading platforms that we tend to try to trade as much as we like and day trade as often as we like. But during a recession, it's one of the most dangerous time periods to try to day trade. So keep note of that, do not day trade. And look, I get it. If you want to spend a small amount of money day trading that you're okay with losing, 
that is totally fine. But I still think that long-term investing is a better long-term path that will help you accumulate wealth, especially during a recession. And you should definitely not panic sell, especially during a recession. Don't sell just because your stocks went down. That's part of the stock market game. Stocks go up, so stocks go down. It's just part of what the stock market is all about. So do not sell your stocks just because they went up or down. Again, get off the investment portfolio. Stop logging in every five minutes to see what's going on with your portfolio. Your portfolio will be fine long term. As long as you invest long term, you have nothing to worry about. And one of the most important takeaways from this bit is to not be an emotional investor. Try to keep your emotions out of it because your emotions will cause you to make rash decisions that might end up hurting you in the long run. So when it comes to investing, be, try to be as objective as you can. I know we're human, sometimes subjection comes in sometimes, but try to be as objective as you can with your decisions and I think it's gonna really help you long term. So to wrap up the video, the bottom line is that even during a recession, you should still stay the course. You should still stay on track for your goals, your investment goals, your portfolio goals. Try to stay on track as best as you can. You should always approach investing during a recession how you would approach investing in any other time period. Focus on top quality companies that have a lot of growth potential. My recommendation would be to buy the stocks of high quality companies and hold on to them for as long as you can while they are still high quality companies and then move on to the next one. That's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate your support. If you have a question, comment, concern, please just leave it in the comment section down below this video. And please like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so when I do post a video, you get an instant notification. I will catch you guys in the next video and uh, happy holidays and Merry Christmas.